Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem seven point eight three. So this is given state of stress, and we have been asked that. A machine component made of steel with sigma yield is this using maximum distortion energy criteria determine that, that whether it yields or not and sharing stress is also given clear so we have given data in given data we have given that sigma x is equal to 36 ksi clear Sigma y is equal to 21 ksi clear and in part a it is given as star of x y is equal to 9 ksi that will be positive and sigma yield is also given that is 45 ksi so you have to find to find whether it yields or not clear whether it yields whether yielding occur or not if yielding occur that will be fail if not then also find the factor of safety so let's start with the solution as we have been asked to find to use maximum distortion energy criteria so you know that this distortion energy criteria is equal to sigma a plus sigma b square minus sigma a into sigma b under the root it, the value should be less than sigma yield where sigma a sigma b are the principal stresses so we will convert these principal stresses this normal stresses into principal stresses so sigma a and sigma b sigma a is equal to sigma average plus r there and sigma b is equal to sigma average minus r now this sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 so sigma x is 36 plus sigma y is 21 divided by 2 and that is equal to 7 plus 57 divided by 2 which is equal to 28.5 ksi and you know that r is equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy whole square under the root so put the value 36 minus 21 divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy which is given over here that is 9 ksi in part a. So I will write 9 square under the root. So it will be equal to this term will be equal to 7.5 whole square plus 9 square under the root this is equal to r and when you calculate this r this r will be equal to 11.715 ksi clear now you can see that you have uh, sigma average and r value so put the value sigma average is 28.5 plus r is 11.715 one five similarly sigma b is equal to 28.5 minus 11.715 so in this case sigma average is equal to when you add it it will be 40.215 ksi and this will be if you subtract it it will be 16.875 ksi now you have both sigma a and sigma b so you will put in this equation a which is criteria for maximum distortion energy theory or one mysis criteria so i will put the value sigma a is 40.215 square 
plus sigma b is 16.875 square minus 14.215 into 16.875 under the root this should be less than sigma e and that is equal to 45 psi clear so when you calculate this value this value will be 34.97 ksi and you can see this is less than 45 ksi so it means there will be there will be no yielding okay so if there is no yield, no yielding we want to find the factor of safety that how much it is safe so factor of safety in this condition will be equal to yield strength which is 45 divided by the stress that is 34.97 ksi clear so it will be equal to 1.287 clear so this is the part first now we will move toward part b and the part b of this problem is that let me choose another color so in part b it is given that sigma uh, sorry shear stress will change only let me check you can see now shear stress is double 18 18 ksi and the rest thing will be same sigma will be same this will be same only tau of x y will change clear so let's solve that and we will check whether it is failed or not so in this condition sigma x is equal to 36 ksi i will not write the unit sigma y is equal to 21 and tau of x y is equal to now 18 so again you will find sigma average sigma a and sigma b sigma a is equal to sigma average plus r sigma b is equal to sigma average minus r there sigma average will be the same because sigma x and sigma y so we will write the sigma average from here 28.7 so sigma average is equal to 28.5 ksi only r will change because here the it will become 18 so r will be equal to the 7.5 whole square because this value will be the same plus this will be now 18 square under the root there so r will become equal to when you calculate it will be 19. 5 yes i so you will put the value sigma average is equal to uh, sigma average plus r so sigma average is 36 and r is 19.5 here so when you add them it will give you 49.86 sorry not 49.86 it will 40 36 plus 19.5 it will be equal to this will be 19 this r is 19.5 so for 36 plus 19.5 is equal to 48 ksi similarly sigma average is 36 minus this value will be equal to 9 not 9 why it is 9 sigma average is 28 point no sorry 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 this is not 36 sigma average sigma average is 28.5 min plus 19.5 is 48 and you when you have 28.5 sigma average minus this this will be equal to 9 ksi clear 
now you will put in the above criteria in equation a that is the this equation a there so when you put the value of sigma a and sigma b in this equation a this is the equation a so and you solve it so this will be equal to by by putting i will write it by putting in equation a we get this term this whole term this term when you put the sigma a and sigma b value from here so this term will be equal to 44.193 ksi and you can see this is less than sigma e which is equal to 45 ksi so again there will be no yielding so in this case factor of safety will be equal to 45 divided by 44.193 there so when you calculate it it will be 1.018 that means it's safer there now we will move toward part c so part for part c let me choose another marker black one so in part c it is given tau of x y is now 20 ksi rest sigma x is again 36 sigma y is 21 so again sigma a for that you will have sigma average will again 28.5 so no need to write uh, to calculate it and r will be equal to here this will be replaced by 20 there so when you calculate it r will be equal to 21.36 ksi so when you put sigma average plus r so sigma average is this and r is this so it will give you sigma a will be equal to 49.86 and sigma b will be equal to 7.14 ksi so again when you put this sigma a and sigma b in this equation a there this is the equation a let me show you this is equation a so when you put it so the value will be equal to 46.732 now it is greater than sigma yield which is equal to which is equal to this is sigma y not yield clear so that is sigma yield is 45 ksi i will also show you ksi clear so it means that yielding will occur and the object will not save and it will be failed clear let me show you this is the okay one more thing is that you have to differentiate this is sigma y and this is sigma yield it should be in capital y yeah. so it should be in capital y you know in, in order to avoid any confusion but i hope at the end you have learned from this video thank you for watching